right. So how should we... <laughs> oh man, I never know how to go about these, but... So something uh, I want to share with you guys as I'm sitting out here in my mother's balcony because I'm, you know, currently on vacation. I'm visiting her. It's a beautiful day outside. And I've been giving a lot of contemplation about how I want to pursue 2021, 20, right? And I think the best way to start it, the best way to start it is, is letting go. You know, I think that is the best way to start it. And I recently come across Dr. Hawkins um, book Letting Go and I've been listening to that for uh, like all of last night and a lot of other things and I kind of came to the conclusion that I think that's what I want to spend most of my 2021 doing and so it's actually a technique not just a, not just like a philosophy, but it has some pragmatic uses. And I think when we look at the context of our current situation, COVID-19, um, all this stress of political, um, let's say political agitation, I think there's a lot of letting go that needs to happen. Not just in our external lives, but also in our, on the inside. And typically from the inside, mirrors the outside. So, I mean, well, yeah. So what is, what is the concept? What is the, what is the technique? so to speak. I've actually been practicing it. Um, I was practicing a lot last night and then I was practicing it this morning. I've just been practicing it every time I get a feeling. So the, the, the base, like to summarize the technique, it's simple really. Um, what continues in emotion is when we make a dialogue with ourselves with the emotion. So basically an emotion can create a thousand thoughts, right? Or memories. And so this this thought, right? It, it never ends, right? As long as the emotion persists, the thoughts never end. And all it does is it gives more energy to the emotion. And so what Dr. Hawkins is proposing is that actually, instead of giving yourself that dialogue, just focus on the emotion and where it is in your body, right? So basically, like relax your body, find where the emotion is in, in the body, and then just feel it. Like actually let it, let it persist, let it exist. Letting go is, I'm gonna let this, I'm gonna let this airplane pass. Letting go is just this non-resistance, essentially. Just don't resist. So, I've noticed that it really does it really does make an impact actually like just me experimenting with this just from like last night and this morning where every time 
like typically an emotion will correspond, at least for me, an emotion will correspond with an image or a memory, right? Or an idea, right? But then of course this is dangerous because then it creates a dialogue or creates a billion other thoughts that you lose yourself in. But what I've begun to do is practice exactly that, right? Like this sort of stopping of thoughts, finding where the emotion is in the body, and just letting the emotion be. And as you let the emotion be in the body, it begins to slowly weaken, right? And the thing is, you'll find yourself constantly doing this, where you have to constantly just focus, bring your focus back on the, the feeling of the emotion rather than the thoughts that the emotions create, right? It's kind of like a, like a meditation almost. It's a very weird meditation. Instead of focusing on your breathing, right? You focus where the actual emotion is in your body. Um, you know, I realize like there's a lot of emotion I've had. Um, I forgot there was like one emotion I had last night, right? I didn't even know it was like this powerful, honestly. But it was like it gave me like a suffocating feeling, you know. Like I literally felt like I was suffocating. But I, instead of giving it thoughts, I just gave it its existence, essentially, because it was already there, right? I, I acknowledged the feeling and let it be. But the thing is, that feeling was like very, it felt very suffocating. But I let it be, and it, you know, it dwindled away. But then it kind of made me realize, like, wow, you know, there's emotions that I've had, or energies to these emotions that I've had that... I haven't truly let go of, essentially. But since I was practicing it a lot last night, I was able this morning, like this morning, there's a significant impact because they're not even that strong now. Like nowhere close. Um, but again... I think it just it, it just really brings now I'm trying to pay more attention to the feeling of the emotion rather than what the emotion brings in thoughts, right? Because thoughts are ultimately meaningless um, when it comes from these like negative emotions. So that's kind of my that's gonna be like my thing. <laughs> that's going to be my main focus in 2021 and the rest of my life I'm not going to just make it one year goal it's going to be um, the rest of my my being and I think I think I will see significant some significant improvements in myself that way you know as something Rumi says you know if if you think if you th <laughs> If you think of a rose, you're a rose garden. If you think of a thorn, you're a fuel for the fire. Um, thoughts definitely have some pertinence in your life. A lot of pertinence in your life, I would say. But, yeah, this is just going to be the way to... I think, I think everyone should practice this, but... You know, sometimes certain things call people at different times. And I think I'm I'm finally at a stage in my life where as spontaneous as I like to think that I am, I spend a lot of effort pretending to be so. And I spend a lot of effort pretending to be something that I'm not. Um, and it's time to surrender to all that stuff, right? There's also a Spanish poet, um, Octavio Chaz where he says love 
is best when you both have surrender. That, that's kind of like the, the summary of it. That's not word for word, but that's essentially the summary of it. And yeah, I think, I think that's the best way to go about it. Hopefully that helps some people out there. I mean, to make this decision is already a step, a good step. All right, it's a great step. Um, so yeah, I, I'm gonna spend a lot of time doing that. And I think it will actually lead to a very creative process in myself as well. So we'll see how that goes. Um, yeah, God, it's such a beautiful day outside. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, share share your thoughts on this. If you guys come across uh, Dr. Hopkins' work before, um, you know, let me know. Share your experience with the technique of letting go, um, or you know, again, just share your opinions on it. I, th I think this is some great stuff I came across, and you know, perfect timing actually. <laughs> I mean, because, you know, year's about to end. We all want something to strive for a little bit. And I think what seems counterintuitive to most of us, right, is actually, instead of going into something, right, we should go into surrendering, right, this, this way of being. All right. I've talked enough, so see you guys later.